G'day guys, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to another video. This is just going to be a really quick little one. I've been getting a few questions recently on how we retrieve our hooks when fish swallow them. So I've got a little clip here that I'm about to play showing you exactly how we do that. Now I must mention that this is what we do when we're going to keep the fish. Uh, you'll see in a second why, but you obviously cannot do this if you want to release the fish. If an undersized fish has uh, swallowed the hook or a fish you want to release and you can't get it out, you do have to cut the line. Um, but yeah, if you're going to keep the fish, you can use this technique. The other thing you can do is uh, obviously use pliers and open their mouth and try and get the hook out. But um, yeah, this is for what you do if you can't do that and you're going to keep the fish. All right, I'll play the clip now and hopefully it helps. So, as you can see guys, this whiting has swallowed the hook down. Can't get it with our fingers or with pliers or anything. Now just warning you, this might be a bit graphic for some people, there's not going to be blood or anything, but you can either use your finger or a knife. So I, I like to do it with a knife. So you want to pull your line over to one side of the mouth, in the corner, hopefully you can see that. So I'll pull that to the corner there, I'm holding it tight around the head, and I'm just going to hold that line with my finger over to one side. Now as you can see under their chin here, they have a bit of white flesh coming up the middle, and they have these sort of clearer, hard bits here on the side. You'll be able to feel it when you um, have a whiting in your hands, but these hard bits on the side, that's where you want to put your knife under. And you're going to cut up towards the lip and actually through the lip. So I'm going to do that now for you. All right, so the knife's going just in under there. I'm just going to poke it in and cut up whoop, away from myself, up towards the mouth. and then you'll have your knife out through the lip there and cut up through. So now once you've done that, you can get your line and feed it down that cut you've just made. As you can see there, you find the hook and that one has swallowed it right down. But that's how you can retrieve the hook and um, you don't have to cut it off and retie it or or anything like that, and there's that whiting. If you want, if you're um, worried about the whiting feeling anything, you can brain spike it right between the eyes there on the top of the head first, and it'll die instantly, and then you can do that. So whatever floats your boat, but we're gonna bleed this one and put it straight in the esky, so it's pretty quick, but I just thought I'd show you that because with the bigger whiting, it can happen a lot. All right, guys, I hope that little clip helped you. A couple of things to remember. Don't do this if you're going to release the fish, of course. Uh, you can use pliers and try that first. And thirdly, the last one, a really big one, which I sort of mentioned in the video, is knife safety. You know, always cutting away from yourself and making sure that that knife is not going to slip and nick you. So that could end the fishing trip really quickly. All right, if you want more of these little videos, comment below and subscribe. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's helped. Thanks, guys.